Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration this Saturday, we invoke the maternal intercession of Our Lady so that she may teach us the Word of God and may lead us to conversion and holiness. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The priests and the prophets said to the princes and all the people, This man deserves death. He has prophesied against this city, as you have heard with your own ears. Jeremiah gave this answer to the princes and all the people. It was the Lord who sent me to prophesy against this house and city. All that you have heard. Now, therefore, reform your ways and your deeds. Listen to the voice of the Lord your God, so that the Lord will repent of the evil with which he threatens you. As for me, I am in your hands. Do with me what you think good and right, but mark well. If you put me to death, it is innocent blood you bring on yourselves and this city and its citizens. For in truth, it was the Lord who sent me to you to speak all these things for you to hear. Thereupon the princess and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man does not deserve death. It is in the name of the Lord, our God, that he speaks to us. So Ahikam, son of Shaphan, protected Jeremiah so that he was not handed over the people to put, be put to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Rescue me out of the mire. May I not sink. May I be rescued from my foes and from the watery depths. Let not the flood waters overwhelm me, nor the abyss swallow me up, nor the pit close its mouth over me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I am afflicted in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See you, lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God may over hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bands he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard of the reputation of Jesus and said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Now Herod had arrested John, bound him and put him in prison 
on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people for they regarded him as a prophet. But at a birthday celebration for Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given, and he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. And uh, it is very nice to be back after our five days of retreat. We had our annual five-day retreat together with the young priests of the Archdiocese of Manila. It was our first retreat again after two years, the first face-to-face -face retreat after two years into this pandemic. And we would like to thank all of you for your prayers so that we could have a fruitful retreat this year. But as we were having our five-day retreat, we were shocked by the news, a tragic news of the shooting incident inside the Ateneo de Manila University. And this tragedy should lead us always to ask ourselves. Disasters, tragedies should lead us to ask ourselves, what have we been doing wrong? Kapag mayroong masamang nangyayari, madalas ang sinasabi agad natin, ah, kawawa naman, kawawa naman, nakakagulat naman ang nangyari. Pero sana, yung mga ganitong masasamang pangyayari na nangyayari sa lipunan natin at minsan ay may nangyayari ring masamang mga pangyayari sa buhay natin. Wag lamang sana tayo magsabi na kawawa naman, nakakagulat naman, shocking ang news. It should always lead us to reflect and ask ourselves, what have we been doing wrong? This was the message of the prophets in our readings today. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, there was an impending doom, threat, and danger against the kingdom. And so the prophet Jeremiah was telling the king, the priests, and the prophets of that nation, Listen to the voice of God, he said. Reform your ways and your deeds. Correct your wrongdoings so that this threat might be averted. 
when there is a disaster, when there is a tragedy, the Word of God should lead us to ask ourselves, what have we been doing wrong? So that we could reform and correct it. This is also the message of John the Baptist to King Herod. He was pointing out to the king, you have married your brother's sister and your hold on power is so great that you are willing to sacrifice even the life of an innocent man so that you could hold on to power. John the Baptist was pointing what Herod have been doing wrong. Kaya po sana, kapag nakakaranas tayo ng mga trahedya, nakakaranas tayo ng mga ganitong pangyayari, magandang pagnilayan din natin. Ano kaya ang mali sa lipunan ngayon? Ano kaya ang mali sa ginagawa natin ngayon? You know, my dear brothers and sisters, the shooter in that incident was a doctor. And when they were looking at all his posts on social media, it is filled with hate and anger, filled with fake news and lies. Kaya mag-ingat tayo. Kakashare mo ng fake news, it might lead you to anger. It might lead you to violence. Akala mo, ay wala, social, Facebook lang naman yan, social media lang naman yan. No? Yun pala, naiimpluensyahan na tayo at nagiging violente na rin tayo. Yan ay isang doktor pa at nakapag-aral ng maayos. Maganda nga siguro, kagaya ng mga propeta sa pagbasa natin ngayon, tanungin din natin ang ating mga sarili. What have we been doing wrong so that we could correct and reform it? You know, every retreat, every year, during the retreat, we priests hold a penitential service among ourselves. This is the time when we priests confess also our sins to one another. And it is a time for us to be humble again in front of God and ask Him, Lord, what have we been doing wrong? as priests. What have we been doing wrong in our priestly ministry? It is a time for retreat, but it is also a time to be humble again and reflect on our wrongdoings so that we could reform and correct it. My dear brothers and sisters, in these past days, we have seen tragedies and disasters. May these events lead us to a deeper question and reflection. What have we been doing wrong? Amen. Please stand. Gathered together in Christ, who conquers all evil. Let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That warring nations may learn to live in harmony 
and mutual cooperation in bringing peace to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may come to the promised everlasting home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God and Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son, the conqueror of sin and death, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord, lord god, god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to deceive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinagpalang nilikha Ipinagling walang sana Pusong dalisa'y dakila Maria, ina ng awal